Hey everyone, how are you? Even though I'm pretty sure I'm talking to no one. Um, I still love making these videos. I know not a lot of people are watching, but um, I just got um, the last of my Ulta haul in. So I got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I feel like it's going to be a little dark for me. So I'm going to try it, see if it works. If not, I will be exchanging that. I also got the Super Shock Blush in Birthday Suit, which I love. And I got the Super Shock Shadow in Lady Bird, but it's broken. But I think it'll be fine, because all I have to do is really push it down. Even though I did push it down and it still popped up. But I think it's still fine to use. Okay, I also got the Lorac Pro Fiber Mascara, which I tried and I actually really like. And I got another one of these, the Soft Matte Lip Cream that I love. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to moisturize and prime real quick. And then I will come back, throw on the foundation, do a little bit of makeup, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm all primed. I use my Tatcha Silk Canvas and my Tarte Smoothing Primer. And now I'm going to try this foundation. Oh, and my primer water. Can't forget that. Casey Holmes, thank you for the rec. Um, okay, now I tried this on my hand, and I really liked it. Oh, it's very dark. But I'm going to see if I can make it work. I think that I might be having to exchange it. But let's see. Let's see if I, I want to get the feel of foundation, but I know I could lighten it by using something else, but I don't want to. Let's see how dark this really is for me, even though I know it's pretty dark. Okay, I'm just taking my Blendiful and patting it in. It's going on really nice. I actually think I'm going to love this foundation. I just need a lighter color, I think. This color is going to be way too dark on me. Which I like, but then, like, compared to my hands, it looks a little cray. So, yeah, this is what I look like with a tan. This is my skin with a tan. So, blending it down my neck. Make sure it's blended up there. And I am putting it under my eyes because it is a concealer, but I'm not going to skip concealer. I'm obviously still going to put concealer on, but wow, I actually really like this foundation. Went on nice and smooth. Everything looks good. Um, You know what? I don't even know now that I put on some foundation. I don't even know if it's really too dark. Um, I don't know. Let's put on the rest of the makeup and we'll see. Okay, concealer. So I'm going to use my glowing shape tape, which I like, and my other shape tape, just to brighten it up. Oh, I got a little on my eye, a little on my lid. Just a little bit. I'm not going crazy, because when I go crazy, that's when... And you know what? I've been liking using a foundation brush to blend it in, so... And then the little brush just, that looks really good. Wow, I actually really like this foundation. The concealer went on so beautifully. Not too thick. It really just laid down beautifully. Now let me do a little of uh, this guy. This is the uh, Tarte Shape Tape, the glow on an opal. Just adds a little bit of just shimmer. And now I'm going to use my Peach per my new Peach Perfect uh, powder, obviously, because I love that. The only thing with that foundation is, I mean, with that concealer, the glowing concealer, is that Peach Perfect is that after I put powder on, it tends to, you know, mattify a little. It's not really fully still there. Um, but this powder, I'm going to set my lids, is phenomenal. And now I've been doing also a new brow trick. And it kind of is like the soap brow trick. 
So I'm going to concentrate more on that, my, the brows and my eyeshadow, being that I got a few new eyeshadow palettes. Um, I'm just going to throw on some quick bronzer. I'm going to use the Morphe um, 8L palette, the Lo-Fi. I'm not going to even contour. I'm just going to throw on, whoopsie, I needed that anyway, a little bit of bronzer because I'm going to do the Super Shock blush. And I'm going to try the Super Shock shadow. And now I'm not going crazy with the bronzer because we can see this color is a little, this color foundation is a little dark for me, but I'm seeing if we can make it work because I really, really like it and I don't feel like going to Ulta again because that's always a recipe for spending money for me and I don't really want to do that right this second. Just a little contour under there, maybe a little, just a little, a little something, something. Okay, now we are going to take our new Super Shock blush and birthday suit. I'm just taking the, ooh, I'm taking the Morphe E4, which was a Manny MUA rec. And now I think it has a little bit of sparkle in it. But let's see if we like it. Ooh. I love this color. It's just like a little pink. It looks like a natural flush. That's what I like. And the sparkle, and I always put them on my nose. The sparkle, honestly, you really can't see. Just very subtle. Okay, that's for that. Now we are going to throw on just a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to take the Laura Geller in Gilded Honey, which is a Kelly Strack recommendation. Thank you, Kelly Strack. Sorry, I'm fixing my shirt. Just a little... I always want to push hard with highlighter because I want to like get it on there but the softer you push the more it gets on there obviously just a little I actually love my makeup right now and I can't believe it because I'm doing such a quick little thing but honestly I don't know I think I might keep the dark shade foundation it doesn't look too bad you know, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, yes, but I think it still looks good. I'm just going to take a little Peach Perfect all over here, around the nose. I like double, because I don't bake, I like double powder and I'll triple powder. Okay, now on to, let's do, should we do the brows or the eyeshadow first? Let's do the brows. Okay, so I don't know for sure if this is a glycerin soap, but I've been using this and this e.l.f. stick, which is wax. So what I do, I watch so many tutorials on what to do. So, excuse me. What you do is you wet your brush. I'm going to just use the primer water being that it's right here. You wet your spoolie. Sorry, I'm just getting the cotton off of my spoolie. Let me know if anyone does soap brows and what they use because I'm trying to do it and I don't know if it's because I'm not using the right soap or if it's just, okay. So I wet this and now I'm taking the soap and I'm just getting it all on there. And yes, it is a, a purple soap, but I'm pretty sure that this is, has glycerin in it. So I'm taking that and I'm rubbing it on and I'm also going to rub it a little on this wa the wax elf stick and now I'm just going to brush the brows up. Now I'm going to do the other side. Just brush them up. I'm not really brushing them all up because some of my brows hair, hairs are long. I'm just brushing them into the place that I want them. See that? That stood up nicely. Okay. So that's my mini soap brow tutorial because I'm not sure if I'm using the right soap, but it is what it is. As Manny MU, I would say. Okay, now I'm going to use the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette because I just got it. Um, while I let the soap brow, while I let the soap and the soap brows dry, then I'll finish the brows. Um, okay, so I already set my lids, which is good with the powder. So I'm gonna go in with. I'm not gonna hold up the palette because it's just gonna take longer. I'm gonna go in with undressed all over the lid. And I'm going to highlight that brow bone after. I've been liking doing it better after. This way, 
I could get the shadow all over and I don't have to be careful. So I'm doing Undressed, which is basically the lightest brown in her palette. I'm just doing a very simple, simple, simple eye look. And I'm doing it all over, up the crease, down the crease, on the lid. Okay, next brush I'm gonna take is, I'm gonna go into Reveal. And I'm just gonna do lower in the crease, like in the crease and lower. Just to throw a little definition in. And I do windshield wiper motions, and then I go circular on the side. And I make sure to get it over, okay? Just a little definition in the crease. That's all we want. See how it's just, you could see it on the camera. It's just nice and defined. Now my eye tears, my left eye really tears, so sometimes the makeup looks runny or it looks patchy and it's because my eye's tearing and it's moving the makeup. So ignore that on my left side. See, it's already streaky. It's because my eye's tearing. So I'm just gonna go in with a little undressed and I'm using all Morphe eyeshadow brushes. If you guys wanna know the brushes in detail, let me know and I'll let you know them next time. But like I said, I don't think anyone's watching this. So I'm clearly obviously just doing this for fun and for me, cause I love makeup. I really do. I love makeup. Like, the one thing that gets me so excited is makeup. Get that later. Um, being that that side went a little up, I'm going to do a little bit more up here. Just a little. And then, I'm going to try my ColourPop Super Shock shadow. And I might go in and do another color on the side. But for now, I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk brush. And I'm not going to wet this. I'm going to see how it looks not wet. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Let's try the finger. Oh, my God. That just amped it up. So if you want it subtle, you do with your brush. If you want it really amped up, you do it with your finger. That looks bomb. Looks so good. This is a great shadow. It's gold with like a silver reflect. That's it, just a simple eye. I love the ColourPop products that I have and that I've gotten. ColourPop is just amazing. I really wanna try their lashes because I'm sure they're great too. Um, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So just blend it in. And look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okay, now the brows, feel them, they're dry. So I'm gonna do a more feathery brow today. Um, I just watched a tutorial um, with um, Desi Perkins and she was showing me some, not me, but she was showing some tricks on um, making the brow look a little more feathery. So that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna first take my pomade, the Kai Brow in Blonde, and I'm gonna get some here. And she said, where you want more hairs, just flick. I'm used to like doing this fast. So I don't know if this way is going to really be my method of choice, but we'll see. Actually, that looks pretty good. No, I don't want to go overboard with the pomade. That actually looks pretty good. Wow. I don't want to go overboard with the pomade because it tends to get, it tends to be a little dark, even though it's blonde, and it tends to just overpower my brow. So I'm just going to do Wow, that soap just really kept the brows in place and it made me not really have to do much. What a great trick. And I also have eyebrow gel, which I may use, I'm not sure. Soap brows are supposed to be in place of eyebrow um, gel, but I don't know. I'm just gonna take my pencil for a quick sec and do a few more little strokies, just so it all looks even. There we go. Let's 
because I want it to look like feathered. I don't want it to look straight down. Wow. I love my brows right now. They look so good. Just like very feathery and very plump. Okay. I am going to take a little bit of concealer and just fix my under my brow. I'm just taking any concealer. This is the first one I grabbed. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a little light, so next time I won't use something so light. But because my eyeshadow is light, I could get away with it. And I'm not going to do it on top because I want to keep that poof, that feathery, feathery kind of look. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that mascara. I'm not going to put lashes on. I'm going to show you the Super Shock Mascara if I can find my eyelash curler. One second, please. I found it. Okay, I'm just going to curl my lashes. And mind you, my lashes are terrible right now. So don't mind my lashes, but I want to show you how good this made my lashes look. And I want to show you my new soft matte. So while I'm leaning, while I'm just letting my eyelashes sit for a moment, I'm going to throw this on. Now, yes, it's pinkier than I thought it would be, but once you take your finger and just smush it a little, it's like the perfect, it's like the perfect flush pink to match, match the blush. Okay, so I'm taking this. I haven't tried it on my bottoms, but on the tops yesterday, it came out beautifully. It just really made my lashes stick up and it's very, very black. And this wand is pretty cool. I like different wands. You, normally I like the thicker, chunkier wands. And sometimes I like the little tiny plastic wands. So this has those fibers in that I did my video on that I showed. I got um, mascara on my lid, great. The fibers in the video that I showed you I used to put on with my mascara. This has the fibers in it. Now, normally I could blow my lashes up much more with the individual fibers, but no mascara has ever made my lashes look this black and this pumped up without anything else. Not even the better than sex, and that's my fave. And this is just one coat, mind you. So if I sat here and, you know, then waited and did a couple more coats, you know, it would look probably a little better. You know what? I am going to do that. First, while I let that dry, I'm just going to take a little of the Kylie Brow Gel and just fluff them up and fluff them out a little bit. Because sometimes, I don't know, like I said, I don't think I have the right soap. So they fall a little bit and it's like that. And normally I put on... Um, what do I put on? Normally I put on my Anastasia Dip Brow and Blonde. Um, but I don't know if that's going to help or hurt the situation, but let's try. Because I like my brows a little blonder than all these products are. Okay, well I'll see if they fall. In my next video I'll tell you if they held up or not. Um, okay, so let me put on one more coat of this. My lashes are not great right now because I wear falsies almost every day. Every work day I wear falsies. So there is glue and residue and crap in them, but my lashes are looking great with this. Okay, so this is two coats and you can see my lashes are not great. But you can see how dark, like from a distance, how dark it made my lashes. It really looks great. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I love the ColourPop shadow. I love the blush. Love my Laura Lee palette, which I'm so happy I got. Um, love the primer water. This foundation, I think I'm going to keep because I love it so much. And I don't have to use as much bronzer. I like a bronzed face. And I feel like with this, I don't have to use as much bronzer. 
um so i might keep it and you know maybe i'll get a second color and a lighter color when you try to pick your shade on ulta it's so confusing because it doesn't have like fair light medium it has like everything's moderately fair with just different undertones so i have no idea what it was i picked i went to help help you choose your shade and i went light pink and then it brought me to such a dark shade so I don't know what's going on with that so to be honest yes this is a dark shade but I think I'm gonna keep it I it lightened up with powder um I love this shadow this shadow I think is my favorite thing the um super shock shadow and ladybird it is uh, now I know why people rave about it it is gorgeous and hopefully it'll last all day and that's the end of this tutorial so I hope as someone's watching um you know, I do these all the time because I love makeup. And if you're watching and you like it, just give me a thumbs up. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Peace out.